So Timo, uh, I, I dove into autographs for several, I mean, many years. Got a lot mm -hmm. of jersey signed. Met a lot. Of, yeah, pull yeah, that I out, bro. I know I what you're going for. Uh, and and Kelly Lee loves autographs as well. I'm looking at a Tom Brady signed jersey. Not game used, but hand signed. Your thoughts? I'm a big proponent of autograph memorabilia. To me, it's cool. It may be a part of my generation that I get so excited about it, but uh, I think more people now. Talk about, you know, what we collect, PC. Yeah. All that. What do you see this? Autograph men. What you got? So. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady is the GOAT. Herbie is also the GOAT. Now, autograph men. If you see that Beckett label of authenticity, if you see that JSA authenticity, you know, PSA, um, you know, when it comes to certain things as well, you know, you have to be careful of who's authenticating your memorabilia. Speak on that. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Um, if you have the big names on it, Beckett, PSA, JSA, Fanatics as well, um, also do authentications and have, you know, have those, you know, certificate, they're certified um, contracts. You know, they're very limited, but those four, those are really the only ones I think you can see as uh, legit these days. There's so many, um, you know, frauds out there when it comes to the autograph memorabilia. A lot. So, so be that careful. prompted me to go get stuff signed in person all the time because I wanted to make sure that it was real. But then like Kelly's talking about, there are certain athletes that only sign with certain companies. Like Brady only signs with certain companies. So if you see a Brady autograph, especially stuff from when he first started with a company you never heard of, just watch the situation. Yeah. Right? Uh, Jordan only signs with up a deck. LeBron only signs with up a deck. Kobe was only signing with Panini. KD was signing with Panini. I don't know if he's still with him right now. You're going to see a lot of KD stuff on the market from Panini. There are certain athletes. Luca is with um, Panini, I think. There are certain athletes that only sign with certain places, really. So if you see something that's disjointed, uh, just check it out. Now, if you And also, keep up with your paperwork. Once you see that sticker that Cali Elite just shows you, you're going to have some form of paperwork that's with that. Always know what that paperwork is. Because someone told me a long time ago, your autograph is only as good as your paperwork or the sticker that's on the item. Someone offered me a trade. They approached my table and they had two Wayne Gretzky record-breaking sign pucks with a signed frame picture, Wayne Gretzky. And I asked, where's the authentication? Like, you know, it's an awesome piece. Like, are they authenticated? No, 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 they're not. And they, you know, gave me the value of them. You know, of of the current authenticated pieces, what the value would be, you know. So, you know, there's a lot of again, there's a lot of debate out there of, you know, what's authentic, what's authentic, you know, uh, how do you find out if it's authentic, and what do you value it at? If it isn't, it's very hard to value something that is not authentic at all, to be honest. Um, so, it, it'd be very careful. Like wrong with FD said. Also know that just like you have some card collectors or investors that say, I will never grade a card. I don't want someone's third uh, uh, opinion on what this card is. There are some autograph people out there that, that may have legitimate autographs. But when you, to me, when you want to enter into a market, if I want to sell Cali Elite an autograph, I got to go through my steps to make sure that that autograph has paperwork to it. Now, if I want to take my autograph of Bo Jackson and take it home and put it on my mantle, and I know that I, I met Bo Jackson at a signing somewhere, he signed that, but I don't want to pay for the authentic, authentication on it, then that's a personal item for me. But when I start to want to engage in some kind of, I'm going to exchange this for this, or I'm going to sell you this for this, I can't do anything without paperwork. Yeah. Even, even if I'm looking on, I've had some people hit me up. Some people I talk to a lot in the hobby and they've asked me questions about stuff they've seen on eBay that doesn't have any paperwork. First thing I tell them, you can't mess with that. Especially stuff that says game used. Where's the paperwork? Because I could take a jersey and put it on and roll around in the mud 
and then put it on eBay and says game use, but it never saw a game, never saw the players back. You just got to be conscious of that. But if that paperwork lines up, I'm all for those items where paperwork lines up. Like Kelly Lee, you at Del Mar, you had a framed jersey. Yeah. That you took over and had authenticated. I was actually about to bring that up. Yeah. So I had a framed Michael, Michael Jordan jersey autographed um, and took it over to Beckett to get it uh, authenticated. Um, and took it over. Actually, I took it over to PSA. I took it over to PSA mm-hmm. instead of Beckett. Um, Beckett was also there on site, but PSA um, it had an authentication from a prior company already. And now a client sent me this this jersey just you know to hold on to, show off for them, of course, and to see if it was authentic. Mm-hmm. Um, outside of that smaller company from the East Coast company, I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, actually I think it was like five star or something like that. Um, and at a New York city. So there you go. You know, who knows how many authentications are in a New York city? Um, one red flag right there. Uh, we got to get this looked at and uh, PSA came back, not enough points to authenticate. So, you know, that, that, that Jersey has not been on display in any show since then. It's not been taken out in public since then at that point. Now, it doesn't mean that the jersey's fake. Oh, no, you're going to fake jersey uh, Jordan authentication. No, that's not what it means. It means a person that reviewed that at that time felt as though there was may, could be one point, two points on there. That was made it that they could not authenticate it at that time. Now, that same exact possible jersey, you could send to Beckett. They may authenticate it with enough points off their records. You don't know. Um, you know, I've done my diligence of getting authenticated one time with PSA, letting the customer know, you know, shipping it back to the customer. Um, but again, there's, you know, you have to be careful in this hobby of it's all based off one person's interpretation. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, that pro- computer program as well, but also one person's mentality. Same with a PSA 9 and a PSA 8 or a PSA 10. You know, when you when you recrack a, a Beckett nine nine and send it to PSA for a 10, you know, you're really hoping that person's having a great day yep. because they could be having a bad day and it comes back a, a PSA eight and then you're, you just lost a couple thousand dollars. So plus grading fees based off the value of your, your card. So it's really based off that person. Um, there are companies out there that do everything off computer programs, a little more consistent, but it's consistent for what that company's, uh, settings are, you know, so it, it's not it's not the same as as PSA and Beckett. Um, so those are the two companies you have to look at when it comes to grading and, um, you know, that authentication. And so I really get an autographs, right? So when Kelly Lee talks about five point match, everyone signs their name differently. So like my autograph is not like Kelly Lee's and Mike Jordan has a slant typically to his autograph, the way he writes. His M looks a certain way. His J and Jordan looks a certain way. He usually writes through that M. So if you see an M sitting by itself and then you see that I come out after, probably not Mike Jordan signing that. So, I, you know, I, I just look at what I like to do, too, is look at real autographs, real autographs, and then look at some fake autograph models. So you can see how someone tried to replicate that autograph if it is deemed as fake. Yeah. And so stuff you can look out for. I tell this story all the time. I went to San Francisco in 2015. This is right before uh, Junior was born. I went to get Barry Bonds autograph and meet him in person. And we're right across the street from the Levi Stadium before it had opened. The f- stadium was finished, so I walk outside and look at it like, man, this thing is crazy. But he hadn't played a game that, there yet, and it was a college bowl game coming up. But that was a guy in the show with about 20 Willie Mays autographed baseball. And if anybody knows Willie Mays' autograph, right, is he has a sporadicness, especially as he got older, a sporadicness with how he wrote. Sometimes it was a real, like, not so wild autograph. Sometimes that autograph could spread on the ball. All these balls were signed on the sweet spot, and they all had the same width. In my mind, it's not real. There's no way you're going to line 20 Willie Mays balls up that are real, and you look at them, and they look the exact same. Yeah. So that was a guy who came over and bought a ball. He went over. So once he bought it, turned, went right to PSA's booth. Within seconds, they told him the ball was not real. He comes back to this guy. Guy didn't want to give him a refund. 
And Kelly Lee, this became a hostile situation. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I think this guy was only selling the balls for like 150, 175. So you, I mean, that's not a real Willie Wayne's baseball, but this guy thought, man, I, I found a deal. So this <laughs> argument throughout the show, the voices are being raised to the point where the guy who sold the ball gave him a refund. Oh, man. But I'm standing man. there thinking like, yeah, I don't know how you come in here and put fake balls on the table and you got PSA sitting right over here. Yeah, seriously. I mean, I seriously, know. PSA sitting right there. Like, it's not one person going to take it to authenticate it. Oh, man. That's that very bold. Yeah, exclusively Steiner for Brady. He also signs with TriStar, which has a link with Steiner. And a lot of items I think you get now, I think they have both authentication stickers on them. With Steiner and uh, and Tristar, like I, I back in the day, I used to send stuff in a Steiner all the time to get stuff signed. So 